Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. I feel like I have this like perpetual raspy voice, which for a while, for the couple weeks I wasn't uploading, I actually lost my voice because I had screamed <laughs> in a good way. It was a positive scream, but I had screamed so hard that um, <laughs> the next, I, honestly, for a whole week I had lost my voice. So I, I don't know. I feel like I'm still recovering from that. I just went too hard, man. Okay. Anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about new beauty launches. Um, it's been a while for me. I haven't been like keeping up with stuff like pretty truly. I haven't really <laughs> been keeping up with stuff. So I'm excited to go through, see what's out. I have a haul video coming up soon, like a try on haul. So I have bought some stuff recently, but it's kind of like if we're thinking about where it is in terms of new, it's like a couple cycles back. It's not like the new new, but it's definitely still new to me. And like overall in the real world, there's still like new products, you know? But anyway, okay, I'm getting off track already. We're gonna get into talking about the new stuff that's out. I'll give you guys some of my opinions. I'm excited to kind of look through. I'm in a more relaxed headspace when it comes to products right now. Like I don't feel a great desire to get stuff, but I'm also not like, no, I don't wanna buy anything. Like, I don't know, I'm just kind of in this nice middle ground, feeling airy, feeling good. Uh, but before we get into it, I do have to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. They've been a great sponsor on the channel this year and I really appreciate them. So if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where people can come together to continue their creative journey. Skillshare offers classes for all skill levels and they can fit into any schedule. If you're interested in photography, illustration, film and video, editing, there's craft stuff on there. Skillshare has classes for all different categories and it's a great way to stay curious and explore new skills. With thousands of classes and new premium classes added all the time, there are so many paths for your curiosity to take you down. A class I took recently had to do with kind of travel. I've been traveling a little bit and I'm about to take a family vacation that got postponed last year. <laughs> and I saw a class by Dan Dan Liu, I believe is how you say it. It was all about kind of creating a mini movie of your vacation and I thought that'd be really cool. I know we've like Obviously like there's vlogs and stuff, but this one would be more like for me and my family, kind of a way to remember the trip and have like that feeling of the trip. And so it goes over how to do that. There's like some really technical things in that class having to do with like how to actually like use your camera, how to like actually edit it, which those can be really helpful, but really it was just inspiring to see and I'm excited to kind of dabble in that a little bit. I'm just gonna be using my phone because <laughs> I'm not that fancy, but honestly any class classes from her, I kind of suggest. I went and checked out her specific like courses that she's done over there on Skillshare and she just has some really great topics. She's a cinematographer and so those classes are really interesting but she also has some on like meditation. She has one which kind of like applies to me right now. It's called creative mindfulness, how to strive through uncertainty and set back in your creative path and I'm like, Hi, <laughs> let's connect. So if you wanna check out some classes or if any of the classes I talked about sound interesting, the first thousand people to click the link down in the description box will get to try out Skillshare Premium for a month for free. It can be a great way to check out the service, see if you like it. Again, I highly suggest Dan Dan's classes. I think you will like them. They're really relaxing and calming. But thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring. Thank you so much to you guys for your support and let's get into the products. All right, oh my gosh, I feel like it's Christmas morning. I'm about to open presents, even though I don't have products in front of me, but just like not knowing what stuff is, what we're gonna be looking at is kind of exciting, actually. <laughs> All right, first on the list, there's some stuff from Huda Beauty. It looks like some highlighters, which I do like. Like, I love a highlighter. I still love a highlighter. I'm not gonna get over them, okay? <laughs> I refuse. I just love something shiny. It's one of the things that if I go really glam with my makeup, I love a highlighter. And if I go something simple, like, like a low coverage base, just eyebrows, some mascara, I still like a highlighter. So I feel like it's one of those things that just works all of the time for me. So, you know, I can't lie. There's something about these swirly little like Willy Wonka compacts that I'm, I'm enjoying and I would like to try out. I also can't deny that this like rose packaging or like embossing is absolutely beautiful. I don't think the swatches do it justice. Like some of the swatches do really good justice. Other swatches, it's like, I don't really know what that is. It just doesn't look as glowy. The rose one doesn't look as glowy to me, but you know, I do like the look of them. I don't know if I'll actually buy them. I'm not really sure, but I like seeing them. 
They're cute. Wet n Wild has like a ton of stuff. It's like the third iteration of these like monochromatic palettes. So we had Huda Beauty do it first, then we got ColourPop, then we have now Wet n Wild. There's like some nine pan palettes. So there's like a honey one, there's like um, In Love With Coco. That one's like a brown one. There's a Passion, I think. <laughs> fashion session I like literally was like can I read what is that I can't I don't know what's going on and then my cherry amour so those are kind of cool I mean I haven't tried wet and wild stuff I feel like in a really long time it's been it's been a moment what's your favorite stuff by wet and wild at the moment I'd love to know I have like the blush lighter like that duo pan they sent me that and that's pretty nice I do enjoy that but that's still like from like I think technically like the end of last year so <laughs> in the makeup world that's a long time ago anyway kind of a cool collection I, I think it makes sense maybe slightly behind the curve there though just slightly slightly behind the curve there wet and wild I'm just scrolling until I find something I want to look at honestly <laughs> I want to talk about okay this is from Hermes and this is a highlighter and like I'm not gonna lie like I want it I don't even know how deep or not this would be on my skin but I like it I think it's just like a one color it says you could use it on the eyes and the face it's just pretty I mean it just screams like bougie luxury like it's giving all those vibes and I'm not always into that uh, really but there is something about this that is like nice looking right like it's really beautiful and i do like it so it's a highlighter i'm not gonna lie kind of into it i need to see swatches though like i can't just buy something just for the embossing like i can't do it i need to see swatches oh it looks like bobby brown is at ulta now that's kind of cool i think it's so interesting I, I maybe i should do a list of like all the things that have jumped over like what's no longer at sephora or what's at sephora and ulta what's now just at ulta i don't know i feel like so much has jumped ship from sephora over to ulta i think fresh is in the process i don't know they had fresh stuff on sephora on sale for like a really long time so i don't know what's going on with that i did a video a long time ago about like sephora versus ulta which one's better blah 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 and i always picked sephora because i liked the experience better but i'd love to know where you're at maybe you know there really are just more shoppers over there but i'm i'm more surprised at some of these like really more luxury brands that i really do equate more with sephora and kind of that marketing and just customer way more than I do with Ulta but they're going over there fresh now Bobbi Brown there's been a lot of other brands as well that I've kind of been like oh really okay okay you're going to Ulta like it's making me look at like damn what's Ulta doing over there <laughs> but yeah that's kind of cool I think it's awesome to get obviously products at different places depending on where you shop most or what's available to you there's so many quads from Charlotte Tilbury the packaging on these stunning stunning okay I've always been someone who doesn't give a shit about packaging, like, because I do feel like it is just holding the stuff you're actually using. But I will say, um, I've been using and kind of living out of a smaller makeup bag more recently and traveling and stuff. And so there's something about these like quads that I am more drawn to and kind of can understand the beauty of them. And when it comes to this really nice packaging, I can kind of understand where it might be something you enjoy because you use it every day. So you're like touching this thing, using it, opening it. And I guess mm, I just have understood it a little bit more than I ever have before. Because when you have such a large quad, collection sometimes you're just like ah uh, you know like it's just gonna go into a drawer most of its life like you're gonna try to use it as much as you can but you have a lot of stuff right but when you really are living or having a smaller bag these really nice pieces that maybe feel a little bit heavier or like are weighted or have that like special star and kind of I don't know it almost looks like um, like what is that like mother of pearl or kind of iridescent background There's something about that that can be really nice And if you're seeing it every day It really can bring a lot of value and joy to your life and like the actual experience of using the product Even if people can't see it when you step outside it like adds to your morning and you which is like important you know anyway um there i go off on <laughs> on that the insides of these again look boring probably are really pretty on the eyes another thing <laughs> with the, these small makeup bags that i've been having and 
whatnot. I've been being more minimal with my makeup and sometimes the boring colors, I'm telling you, those are the ones that come through that you continuously use and the ones that make sense. Like again, I'm just understanding it. I still love color, I still love sparkle. I just am more fully understanding why people enjoy these basics and kind of, you know, boring colors so much more than I did before. <laughs> like I get it. I don't know if it's because I'm also getting a little bit older and sometimes you just want to look put together and and feel good about yourself but you don't want to take a lot of time and it doesn't need to be extravagant and these types of products are really perfect for that also so anyway cute probably won't purchase but they're cute that packaging looks nice <laughs> I feel like I'm like going to lose my voice <laughs> not again there's some new stuff from ABH they have come out with cream blushes cream highlighters cream bronzers very nice spread of products I do like the look of the bronzers I'm definitely potentially interested in trying some of those the blush sticks look really nice those highlighter sticks look really nice I feel like I have a lot of cream products at the moment um, so I'm trying to like keep it together because creams do go bad like at least when I buy powders I know that I could be I, I mean I, I have a blush that's like seven or eight years old So if I really like something it really works for me I don't mind keeping that thing as long as it doesn't go off for a very long time, but cream it's just a little bit tougher, right? So I'm trying to be thoughtful <laughs> about the creams that are coming into my collection, especially because it is so trendy right now. So many brands are coming out with these cream products and I think it's awesome, I think it's great, but I need to also keep in mind like my actual inventory, my actual collection, so I don't go, as overboard or like I can save myself at least some of the time, you know, when I'm thinking about what I'm buying. But I think it looks nice. And honestly, this feels more like ABH, you know, that we kind of grew to love in that it feels like a thought out collection. It feels like something that's gonna be around a little bit. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see kind of what else comes out from them. There's some like Tom Ford cheek products. These might be really nice, but there's something about this luxury this doesn't bring me in. The Hermes highlighter, yes. The Charlotte Tilbury quads, yes. This looks kind of boring. I'm sure it's nice, but I don't feel compelled. So something a little bit different there. Not feeling compelled and thank the Lord because I'm sure those are very expensive. I just love the shimmer though. <laughs> I still do like shimmer, even if I'm going neutral, like a shimmery one shadow lid look, I like that. You know, I'm I'm not really on to the mattes. I, I'm not. I It's so interesting how I've just completely turned my preferences around from when, I don't even know, I started my channel or for so long ago, you know? There's some new quads from Juvia's Place. I think these are pretty and I love to see some quads. I am a little bit surprised by the swatches there's something about these quads that I feel like is lacking like I think the colors in the quad could be a little bit more different from each other like when I look at the gray like silvery one there's something about it that seems flat almost like um I feel like the silvers in it are just a little too close I, I think maybe finding a way to make it a little bit more dynamic with only four colors I know that's like tough but I think it could have been done and I also feel like it was kind of a trend over all. Even with the like orange kind of coppery one, the two matte oranges in this swatch look very similar and I'm like, how could we have like changed that up a little bit? Even in the dark green, there's a dark green and then there's another kind of like not as dark green, you know, once again. Even the aqua one, the aqua one's a little bit better because the two blues that are similar at least have different finishes, but, but that's just something I'm kind of noticing from them. They're fun color stories, but I think they're a little bit too monochromatic for me. Okay, something from ColourPop, I can't believe we've waited this long. The Cherry Crush Collection, packaging, marketing, cute as hell, right? So cute, it's summer, we love this, yeah. Inside, the palette itself when I see photos doesn't look too like same samey. This is one I did see before and the swatches of this palette, you guys, I was like, it's the same color. This could be a trio, honestly. What's going on? Maybe a quad, maybe we'll give it a quad. I don't know, I really just felt like this also kind of falls flat. Where's the contrast? Like, I love the idea of this, but maybe it could have been like fruit quads, like do a cherry quad, a pineapple quad, a lime quad, I don't know. I think that would have been kind of fun, but a whole nine pan of these colors on the eyes, like what the f it's the same shit, y'all. It's the same shit. So, um, you know, cute, 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 cute. Practicality for me when I see it, no, 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 no. But let's see what else is from ColourPop. Let's specifically 
check them out. This is a cute collection. I actually really like this. This is the Lush Life collection. I really love this palette. I think there is so much. There's neutrals and there's colors and I think they did a great job with it. I like it. I am like actually tempted honestly to like buy it. And I really like how um, this palette, when you're looking at it, like kind of going down in columns, I can really see just if you're kind of lost from these colors, you could go to the columns and create eye looks if you, you felt like you needed a little bit of guidance. And I think it's really beautiful. I really like this palette. I'd love to know if you have it. How do you like it? That one I think looks really, really nice. I really love to see it. It just, it fills my heart with summer and like tropical nights and like it gives me all of the fantasies, the lush vibes. I really like it. I honestly feel like though just so much comes, it's so much. I want to go through all of ColourPop's like releases for the year and just like, just to know like how many freaking palettes have they come out with this year? Just halfway through the year, where are we at? <laughs> Because I'm sure it's a lot. I can't even remember them all. I will say, I know I talked about Lust for Dusk last time. Some of these pictures of the Lust for Dusk, I'm kind of getting it. They're like sexy, sultry. Like, it's nice. It is nice. I think there might be a glitter in it, so I won't get it, but... Uh, <laughs> maybe I talked a little too much shit about it. I mean, I really didn't. I, okay, like, let's get real. I maybe said, like, not for me. <laughs> But you know, I'm looking at it again and I'm like, I kind of get it. And it's this perfect like in between where it's like cool tone. There are some like warmer, more neutral neutrals in here. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it taking a second look and revisiting it. I think it's cute. Some more stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. There's some like cream eyeshadows. These seem so nice. Like thinking about the fast, easy makeup I'm talking about. Little cream shadow pots like this. So perfect. So amazing. Um, I think the colors are pretty. So cute. Don't think I'm gonna buy them, but again, I like it. <gasps> you guys, these Dior highlighters, I want one of these. You know I want one of these, I do. Do you guys remember the like amber diamond? Do you remember the amber diamond? That is old school. I had the rose diamond on accident. I thought I was buying amber and I somehow had rose and I was extremely disappointed <laughs> and then they discontinued it. I am interested in these. I would love to see these. I want to get some. I also like the colors. I need to see swatches honestly, but I like those. I like those. I want to see swatches just to see how deep they actually go. I want to see, you know, them on skin because depending on how sheer or, you know, pigmented or all of the stuff, I just want to see what that formula is. I want to see what those colors actually are, you know, but exciting to me. Personally. Oh, here we go. Some things coming out. There is some nostalgia going on and it's bad nostalgia. Naked 3 Mini. The Mini Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. This was something that I don't understand. <laughs> I know that I just said that I've been enjoying neutrals and blah, 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 but I just don't think this is it. This palette looks a little dead to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's all I gotta say, I guess. When I think back on the Naked 3, I don't think I really wanted that, but then everyone was talking it up. I remember when it came out and I was like, it was like, I think the first Naked pal palette that I had been a part of the community, like I was in the community and then it came out. It wasn't one of the ones where I got in and was like, what is that Naked palette? Wait, what's the Naked 2? And kind of bought after the fact. This was one that was like, I could be a part of the crowd's anticipation for it. So I remember not necessarily like, like wanting it, but everyone was so freaking pumped for it so of course I bought it <laughs> I used to buy every new release you guys but it was easier back then there were like five main brands now there's like a million brands <laughs> but I never really liked it mm, I didn't I don't remember liking it anyway so definitely like to me I have like bad nostalgia for that palette like I don't want this I don't I think they should have revamped the mini naked or come out with like it and maybe for different skin like I don't know I just don't yeah I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want that nostalgia, honestly. There's some blushes from Colored Rain, some cream blushes. I think there's four different ones. There's this really vibrant purple. There's a pink. There's like this really beautiful brown and then like kind of a peachy pink. I think they're pretty. I honestly, um, I don't think any of those shades are for me, but I would love to see some more stuff from Colored Rain come out. Oh, some other ColourPop. 
more ColourPop? What the heck? I think these might be like Ulta exclusive stuff, but there's one called Cabana Club. I think the outer packaging is really pretty and like sucks me in a little bit, but the actual inside is not as nice as the Lush one to me. So I can kind of steer clear. I love the eyeliners. I'm kind of tempted by the eyeliners. I just love a colorful eyeliner, especially like a pencil one. I really like those. There's also the Hello Kitty like summer type collection. Really, really cute stuff and I really like these quads compared to some of the other Hello Kitty collections that have come out. Those have all been very pastel, kind of like lackluster to me, but these ones are fun. I like I like the way they look. There's something about the textures of those shimmers that are drawing me in a little bit. Ooh, okay, these are from KKW. They have these like lip lacquer pots that are coming out. This reminded me of the NARS lip pot and I'm pretty sure that that was like Kim Kardashian's like lip product, like at the time before Kylie Jenner's lip product and like Whirl was the thing. And this just reminded me of that, like took me back. I was like, wow, she has her own brand. <laughs> She's just making a new one, right? So I don't know, that just brought me back to like makeup memories, <laughs> you know. Probably won't purchase them, but it's kind of interesting to see something like that, you know, it's, it's a little bit different for a lip product. I think I saw though on here that like KKW and Kylie, I think are like rebranding and stuff. I don't really know what's going on. I don't think I bought from either of those brands, but something like that's happening. Tarte Lit Juicy Palette from Tarte. They just came out, I think, with the Juicy Palette. Now they came out with the Tarte Lit version of the Juicy Palette. Y'all, what is up? I didn't think that these pinks were back, but I don't know, Tarte and Urban Decay are like trying to conspire to make this happen and I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know, for me, no. The swatches of this palette are a lot more enticing than the actual look of the palette. I'm sure there are a lot of people who would enjoy this palette, but yeah, I think I'm really not super into those like neutrally mauve pinks. I don't think I am. I love like a coral. Um, I love like cool or warmer. I love color. I love bronzes, but I don't think I gravitate as much for these types of colors, at least not right now in my preferences. Ooh, I think there are some new things from Nabla, some new, those like little mini palettes. I love these little mini palettes from Nabla. Usually they have glitter, so I can't like actually get them, but these cutie palettes are so cute. They're cutie patooties and I love them. They have like really fun color stories. The blue one I think is really pretty. I think there's another color as well. It's more neutral. There's like a more neutral one. That one I'm not as like personally enticed by, but I do like the blue one. Not gonna pick it up, but like, okay, I'm gonna show you this picture of an eye. I think it's just so stunning. Like this is, I love this, like for something sultry, something nighttime, this type of eye look, this type of blue where it's like shimmery um, and kind of iridescent, that is what I freaking love. So I'm not gonna lie, kind of into it. But I could probably, that's like one of the ones that I would look at and just like recreate with what I have, you know? I, I think that I could fend off needing that exact one. And that's what I try to do, you know? Like I love buying new stuff. Like I like trying new stuff. I like being a part of the makeup community, but I do try when I can to like fend off some of those purchases that really I, I don't, you know, I don't need any of it, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Dose of Colors has the Donald Duck and Daisy Duck collection. I think that, okay, I think that out of all of the Disney kind of like makeup collections, ColourPop kills it usually. Sometimes they're weird, but ColourPop like with the villains and some of those, I think they've done a pretty good job. And I do think that uh, Dose of Colors has kind of created the classy version, I guess besides Best May, they also have done pretty classy versions of Mickey Mouse stuff. But I think this is pretty, like I think they've done a good job. The concept is interesting. It's still pretty neutral, but there's that purple. Again, I don't need these colors. I'm not like a huge fan of like Easy duck, so <laughs> I don't feel the need to buy this, but I think it's cute. I like that there's some fun going on, like that purple looks really pretty. There's also the shade Iconic, which has like a duochrome as well. So I still can see it being like, it's pretty, like looking at the swatches, I don't know. I think they've managed to make like something pretty classy and still kind of intriguing, but still kind of neutral. I feel like it could really reach a wide Ray, array of people. I think this is a new brand. I think the brand's called o Otrera, but this is like, it's interesting. It kind of looks like a molecule, almost like how it flaps open and stuff. I don't know. I'm like, I'll keep my eye on this brand. I'd love to know if you've tried it. In the description, it says it's in pounds, like 49.90. So um, it'll be interesting to see kind of 
what comes out from this brand in the future. I'm not particularly in love with the color story, but I don't know, I'm intrigued. I'm always intrigued for new brands. I think I haven't talked about this collection to you guys. I think this is like my newest release that I actually did pick up, but this is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Love Radiance collection. I ended up picking up the highlighter duo in Peach and Love, which I think it's actually sold out on Look Fantastic. That's where I bought it from. Um, and it's sold out, so uh, it's pretty. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I really do like it. You know, it's pretty simple. It's not like anything fancy, but there's something about the packaging and I know how much I love my pink glow highlighter that I was like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I think I'll really like it. And so, so far I really do. I also picked up one of the eyeshadows and that one's not the success I was hoping it would be. Again, I've really loved like a one shadow satin kind of eye look. And so I was hoping, wow, this could be my perfect one shadow eye look in a compact, ready to go. It feels cute. Kind of like what I was talking about, like in your makeup bag feeling special, but um, not what I was wanting. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to keep trying it, but definitely not what I thought. So so unfortunately, <laughs> one of them was a bust. I'm not sure what else there is to talk about really. Oh, oh, there's some like new palettes from BH. Oh, one of them's really pretty. The Paris one looks really pretty. I like that one. Um, It's kind of like reds and blues. It's a little like, it almost looks Americana, honestly, to me. But the swatches look pretty. The Puerto Rico one looks really pretty, more neutral and like warm. And then there's like a bronzer, like highlighter palette that looks Stunning, I don't know, these swatches are looking so good and juicy, I love it. I've been really impressed with the different BH ones that I've tried in the past, so I feel like they're a pretty solid pickup if you wanna try something like inexpensive, like pretty colors and pretty good quality shadows. So I don't know, it's always fun to see new ones that you might get. Should I tell you, should I spoil you? I did pick up the Michaela and Glamlight palette. I just did, I didn't realize it was a pre-order and I already sold out because I wasn't on top of it. I was still like racking my brain if I should get it or not, but I was like, I like it, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> but that's not gonna be sent out to me for a long time. Oh, pre-orders, man, pre-orders. But those swatches, look at these swatches in this photo, you guys. <laughs> I'm excited I got it, let me tell you that. That's all I can say from looking at the swatches, okay. I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd love to know what you picked up recently, what has got you excited. Is there something I missed you think I would like? Because I'm sure I've missed a lot. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.